If you've run a search and you're happy with it and want to save it, you'll first need a Web of Science account. In the top right hand corner, you'll see that I'm already logged in. And if you don't have a Web of Science account already, all you'll need to do is register using your own preferred details. Once you've done that, click on the Create Alert option next to your search box, or go into the history that's displayed at the top of the screen and select the line of the search that you wish to save, clicking the bell icon to create an alert. Now alerts can be used to send regular updates on papers that have been retrieved since your search. For me, I only want to save this as a search I can come back to, so I'll uncheck the box that would normally generate emails. Having saved my search, if I click on the alerts option from the menu at the top of the page, I can then see any searches that I have saved, and if I want to rerun one, all I'll do is click the rerun search button. You can also look at the further options, so if you did decide that you wanted regular emails telling you any new records that have been retrieved from your search, you can activate this after initially setting up the saved search. If you'd like to save papers from your search, you can select them individually by using the tick boxes on each line or by selecting the checkbox at the very top. Once you've done this, you may choose to add these to a list that are then saved within your Web of Science account. To do this, all you'll do is click Add to List and you can then either add it to an unfiled collection of records or create a list specifically for those records.